Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Karanjua Benefits, Uses and Medicinal Secrets Table of Contents Introduction Botanical Description Geographical Distribution Traditional Uses Medicinal Properties Environmental Importance Economic Importance Cultivation and Propagation Potential Side Effects Introduction Karanjua, scientifically known as Pongamia pinata, is a leguminous tree that belongs to the Fabaceae, Pia family. Commonly referred to as Indian beech, Karanja, Hongge, or Dithuri in various regional languages across South Asia. It is a medium to large deciduous tree that can reach heights of 15 to 25 meters with a wide, spreading canopy. Native to tropical and subtropical regions of Asia, including India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and parts of Southeast Asia. Naturally found along riverbanks, coastal areas, roadsides, and in degraded soils where few other trees thrive. It is well adapted to harsh conditions such as saline soils, waterlogging, drought, and high temperatures. The tree produces beautiful, fragrant, purplish white flowers that bloom in clusters and attract bees and butterflies. Its seeds are enclosed in woody pods and contain non edible oil known for its pesticidal and biofuel potential. Karanjua is considered a sacred tree in many Indian communities and is traditionally planted near temples or water bodies. It holds significance in Ayurveda and folk medicine due to its broad spectrum therapeutic properties. Known for its soil enriching ability due to nitrogen fixation, making it valuable in agroforestry and reforestation programs, the tree plays a vital role in sustainable agriculture, environmental conservation, and renewable energy initiatives. It is highly valued by local communities for firewood, oil production, natural pesticides, shade, and livestock fodder. As a fast-growing, low-maintenance plant, it is often promoted in social forestry and bioenergy projects. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Botanical Description Height Typically grows up to 15 to 25 meters tall, with a broad spreading crown that provides ample shade. Crown shape, dense dome-shaped canopy with extensive lateral branching, making it ideal as a shade tree. Leaves, pinnately compound, usually with five to nine leaflets arranged alternately. Leaflets are oval to elliptic in shape, smooth-edged and glossy on the upper surface. Each leaflet measures around 5 to 10 centimeters in length and turns yellow before shedding in dry seasons. Flowers, papillionaceous, pea-like, in structure, appearing in axillary racemes, clustered inflorescences, pinkish-white to lavender in color, mildly fragrant, and attract pollinators like bees. Flowering season usually occurs between March and May in tropical climates. Fruit, flat, woody, elliptical pod, measuring three to six centimeters in length and about two centimeters wide. Matures to a brown color, containing a single large brown seed rich in oil. Pods do not split open upon drying, indehiscent. Seed, oily and brown, about the size of a small marble, contains non-edible oil rich in carnagen and pongamol. Bark, rough, dark gray to brown, with deep vertical fissures, exudes a bitter yellowish resin when cut or injured. Roots, 
Deep tap root system with extensive lateral roots. Contains nitrogen-fixing nodules in association with rhizobium bacteria, improving soil fertility. Geographical distribution. Widely distributed in tropical and subtropical regions of South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. Native to the Indian subcontinent and naturalized across many parts of Asia and Oceania. Found abundantly in India, especially in states like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Karnataka. Common in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Pakistan, and Myanmar, where it grows naturally in both rural and urban areas. Also thrives in Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Extensively planted in Pacific islands, including Fiji and Papua New Guinea, due to its adaptability. Introduced to East Africa and parts of Australia for reforestation and agroforestry purposes. Prefers low altitude regions, but can grow up to 1,200 meters above sea level in tropical climates. Commonly found along riverbanks, lakesides, canals, coastal belts, and salt affected lands. Thrives in degraded, rocky, saline, or alkaline soils, where most commercial crops cannot survive. Resistant to waterlogging, drought, and wind, making it ideal for erosion control and marginal land reclamation. Often seen lining roads, railway tracks, and irrigation channels as a shade and boundary tree. Traditional uses. Seeds, traditionally crushed to extract thick, dark oil used for lighting oil lamps in rural households. The oil, known as karanja oil, is used as a natural insecticide and pesticide in traditional agriculture. Cake left after oil extraction is applied to soil as a biofertilizer and pest repellent. Leaves, used as green manure to improve soil fertility in crop fields. Fed to cattle and goats as fodder, though not highly palatable, it is used during scarcity. Crushed leaves are applied to skin for wound healing and insect bites in traditional remedies. Dried leaves placed in grain storage to repel insects naturally. Twigs, used as chewing sticks. Dotten, for cleaning teeth and maintaining oral hygiene in rural communities. Believed to have antibacterial properties beneficial for gum health. Bark, ground bark mixed in decoctions for treating fever, diarrhea, and skin diseases in folk medicine. Bark extracts used in Ayurvedic and Siddha medicine as an astringent and tonic. Flowers, used in ritual offerings and traditional religious practices in some cultures, sometimes used in herbal infusions to relieve digestive discomfort and inflammation. Wood, employed in the making of plows, tool handles, and firewood due to its strength and availability, used in rural construction for roofing, fencing, and cart making. Cultural significance, planted in village peripheries, and temples for its shade and spiritual value. Considered a sacred tree in some Indian traditions due to its healing properties and environmental benefits. Medicinal properties. Antibacterial. Seed oil and aqueous leaf extracts possess potent antibacterial activity, traditionally applied to skin infections, boils, and abscesses, effective against certain gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Anti-inflammatory. Decoctions made from leaves and bark are used to relieve swelling, joint pain, and rheumatism, 
contains compounds like carangin and pongamol, which exhibit strong anti-inflammatory effects. Anti-diabetic. Leaf and seed extracts are studied for their hypoglycemic effects, traditionally used in Ayurveda to manage type 2 diabetes mellitus by regulating blood sugar levels. Anthelmintic. Seed extracts are used to treat intestinal worm infestations. Traditional medicine practices administer leaf juice or decoctions to expel roundworms and threadworms. Antioxidant. Bioactive compounds in the leaves and bark scavenge free radicals, protecting cells from oxidative damage, helps in reducing risk of chronic diseases such as cancer and cardiovascular conditions. Wound healing. Karanja oil is applied topically on cuts, bruises, skin ulcers, and fungal infections, promotes tissue regeneration, and protects wounds from secondary infection. Antifungal shows inhibitory action against fungal pathogens such as Candida and Aspergillus species, used in treating scabies, eczema, athlete's foot, and ringworm. Skin protection. Oil is used in formulations to treat psoriasis, acne, and eczema, offers natural UV protection, and is used in herbal sunscreens and ointments. Hepatoprotective. Some studies suggest bark and leaf extracts may have liver protective properties, used traditionally to treat jaundice and liver disorders. Environmental importance. Karanjua is an excellent nitrogen-fixing plant that enriches soil fertility through symbiotic association with rhizobium bacteria in its root nodules. It plays a vital role in reclaiming degraded, saline, alkaline, and waterlogged soils where most plants cannot grow. Commonly used in agroforestry systems to improve soil structure, increase crop productivity, and reduce dependence on chemical fertilizers. Extensively planted in afforestation and reforestation programs due to its fast growth and hardiness in poor soils, helps control soil erosion with its extensive root system that binds and stabilizes the soil, especially on slopes and riverbanks, functions as a windbreaker in farmlands, protecting crops from strong winds and conserving topsoil, enhances biodiversity by providing nectar-rich flowers that attract bees, butterflies, and other pollinators, offers habitat and shelter for birds, insects, and small mammals, supporting ecological balance, aids in climate change mitigation by sequestering atmospheric carbon dioxide and contributing to carbon credit projects, often used in greenbelt development and roadside plantations in urban and semi-urban areas for environmental protection. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Economic Importance Carringe oil extracted from the seeds is a promising biofuel alternative to diesel, offering a renewable, eco-friendly, and sustainable energy source. The oil is widely used in the manufacture of soaps and detergents, providing a natural base with cleansing properties, contains bioactive compounds like carangin and pongamol that act as natural pesticides and repellents, reducing reliance on synthetic chemicals in agriculture. The timber is valued for making agricultural tools, furniture, fuel wood, and small-scale construction materials due to its durability and availability. Karanja oil is an important ingredient in cosmetics and herbal personal care products, such as skin creams, hair oils, and lotions, known for moisturizing and protective benefits.
byproducts such as seed cake, are used as organic fertilizer and soil amendment, supporting sustainable farming practices. Cultivation of karnjua provides employment opportunities in rural areas related to oil extraction, processing, and product manufacturing. The tree's multi-purpose use makes it economically valuable for smallholder farmers, agro-industries, and renewable energy sectors. Cultivation and Propagation Karanjua is commonly propagated through seeds, which should be soaked or scarified before sowing to improve germination rates can also be propagated effectively via stem cuttings or root suckers, allowing faster establishment. Adaptable to a wide range of soil types, including saline, sandy, rocky, and degraded soils. Prefers well-drained soils, but tolerates occasional water logging. Requires moderate watering, especially during the initial growth phase. Once established, it is highly drought tolerant, thrives best in full sunlight with minimal shade, demonstrates strong resistance to common pests and diseases, making it a low maintenance tree. Recommended planting spacing is around five by five meters in plantations to allow sufficient room for canopy expansion and root development. Growth rate is relatively fast, and the tree can start flowering within three to four years after planting. Regular pruning may enhance shape and increase seed production, often used in agroforestry and mixed cropping systems due to its compatibility with other crops. Potential Side Effects Carange oil may cause skin irritation, redness, or allergic reactions in individuals with sensitive skin or allergies. Oral consumption of crude or unrefined carange oil is not recommended because it contains mild toxic compounds like carangine and pongamol. Ingesting large amounts may lead to gastrointestinal discomfort, nausea, or poisoning. Use of karanjua extracts or oil in medicinal preparations should always be under professional supervision or guidance. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid using karanjua products internally without medical advice. Prolonged or excessive topical use may cause contact dermatitis in rare cases. Individuals with known allergies to legumes or Fabaceae family plants should exercise caution. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you.